Well, hello, folks. How you doing? Happy Labor Day weekend. Scott Hinnon here for the After the Show show to tell you a little bit about today's program and do a little recap. All archived and podcasted right here in case you did miss it. We're having great fun. It was week number one of our new nationally syndicated show. 23 million users every month at GCNlive.com, and it's fun to have all their input, getting lots of feedback. And, of course, still serving North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota with the Common Sense Club and the Scott Hinnon Show. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It really is. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Just so happens to be a copy of... Grassroots, a common sense action agenda for America. I put that there to remind me, to remind you, if you'd like an autographed copy of this baby, all you have to do is become a fan of our fan page. We're drawing one lucky winner every week. We should drawing them live here on the air. I think we might try that out. Anyway, if you want one, uh, check it out. Also, here's a little scoop for you. I mentioned this on the air, so after the show, show I'll tell you, if October 31st, we're going to do a little book party for Grassroots. I'm inviting everybody that I have uh, talked about in this book, that I've met on the Tea Party Trail, that I've celebrated including my pals Harold Ham, who's agreed to come on up, America's Oil Champion, Ron Offutt, going to sit down with him, James, Carville, and Mary Madeline together on the stage, yours truly refereeing. And actually, we're going to do a little version of Forum Face-Off uh, for a live audience. It'll be free. We invite everybody, the, the public, to come. It'll be at Concordia College, October 31st. Mark it down. Lots of other surprises, and we'll do a good old-fashioned book signing, and should be a lot of fun, but uh, very much looking forward to that. Uh, Mary Madeline said she'd come in as long as she could bring the serpent head, and I said, oh, okay. This guy was on the show today. Mark Stein wrote the book After America, Get Ready for Armageddon. I asked you on, your, uh, on our Facebook page whether you're optimistic about America's future. He says don't be, and he tells us why, and uh, we talked a little bit about it. It was a fun conversation. Uh, did about three segments with him today on the program, like Mark Stein a lot. Talked to Amy Koch. She is the uh, uh, Senate Majority Leader in uh, Minnesota. She basically cleared something up. There's been a bit of a controversy. Sid Hartman in the Star Trip today freaked out on her and Kurt Zeller saying, if they want a referendum, it's a deal killer. The, the Vikings will leave. They'll go to L.A. She's saying it'd be a good idea for Ramsey County to hold a vote so citizens can decide. It's not going to be in the legislation. She just thinks that'd be a good idea. So I don't think that was quite the controversy it was made out to be. Spent a lot of time talking about Sarah Palin. In fact, we chatted with Yana Murdahl of Organize for Palin, a group. She's the North Dakota head of it. And also... Um, she is uh, with Concerned Women for America, about this new poll. I still can't get over it. Uh, 71% of, um, of voters, let's see, 71% of Republicans, 72% of, of, of conservatives, uh, I mean, we're talking Tea Party members, we're talking white evangelical Christians, say Sarah Palin should stay out of the 2012 race. I can't figure out if that means they're happy with the field, they're worried for Sarah Palin that she'll be unfairly maligned, uh, and uh, by the way, our friend Jan Murdahl said... Polls are the conventional way of doing things. Nothing is conventional about Sarah Palin, so who cares? And whatever she decides, we're for. She's in Iowa this weekend, New Hampshire on Monday. Something's up. I think she's going to join the race, and I think it's great. I think if there's 100 people vying for the GOP nomination, it's fantastic. Uh, look, we are interviewing the person that holds the future of our children in their hands. That's what this race is about. Why wouldn't you want to have as many candidates to interview so you can sit down. We're the interviewees. We're, we're, doing, the, uh, we're doing the interviewing, right? We're going to say, uh, you know, hey, who are you going to bring into your cabinet? Who are you, what, what policies are you going to put forward? What, how are you going to beat Obama? You just put them through their paces. How are you going to fix this economy? What are you going to do? You know, uh, how are you going to restore the culture? What are you going to do with foreign policy? We, conservatives, Tea Party members, Republican Party faithful, we interview them. Why wouldn't you want a big field interview? And you, you narrow it down. It's like anything. It's a, it's a search. And you get down. We'll get down to, you know, a field that'll be a handful come uh, next year in the nomination time. Makes perfect sense. Anyway, so that was fun as well. All on the uh, Scott Hinn Show. Spent some time talking to my friend uh, Sam Youngman at the Hill newspaper. And, uh, President Zero, ladies and gentlemen. President Zero. It's a new name for Obama. Zero job growth. First time that's happened in a month since 1945. Do you need any other signals that this guy has got to go? Crazy. We're headed back west again uh, to the oil patch. We're broadcasting from Williston, North Dakota. they got a mega, mega event planned uh, coming up in the middle of the month. We'll tell you all about that live from the Williston Chamber of Commerce on Tuesday's program. We're replaying our interview with Vice President Cheney and the Mark Stein interview. If you missed it on Monday's program, all of it available at scotthinnon.com. Look for that little Scott Soapbox widget right at the top right-hand corner of our site to weigh in on our questions of the day anytime, all the time. And, of course, the Scott line at 855-200-1776 is answered 24 hours a day, seven days a week. God bless you one and all. Have a fabulous Labor Day weekend. Be safe. Have fun. Kiss your wife. Hug your kids. And uh, we'll see you again on the next Common Sense Club live from Williston on Tuesday.